So I decided it's time to start making my new helping hands for soldering. I was kind of brainstorming what I could use as a base. I have this pretty thick metal, uh, I mean wooden, slab here, but I was, I'm thinking it's not quite big enough because, you know, these are pretty tall, and when bent over, I have six of these. You know, this would be good for only four, in my opinion, because I don't want them you know, just really tall. I'm going to have them in more so than sticking out generally. So I was looking at what else I could use, kind of reuse things, and I have this piece of plexiglass, which came from a computer monitor I tore down, a flat screen. And so I went ahead and I've drilled six pilot holes. So I'm thinking, you know, the, the center, where the clamps are going to be will pretty much be centered where my next one is. So like, you know, one, two, three, and three more on this end. One, two, three. So I mean, it's going to be tall, but generally they're going to be bent over. And they reach each other with plenty of slack. So I think I'm going to go with this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my drill and drill these holes out bigger. I'm not worried about making a tap and so I can screw these in or anything. I'm just gonna stick them in there and use some epoxy more than likely. I have three different sizes of I'm not exactly sure what you call these but this is the skinniest one I have but it looks like it's gonna do the job. So I'm gonna go with that. That's why I drilled the pilot holes so I wouldn't be scratching all over the place with this thing. Let's see. Okay, I got it turning the right way. Uh, it's kind of melting plastic a little bit. I might go around to each one a little so I don't get it too hot. Now if I did have some kind of tapping thing, this would probably be the perfect size because it is so close to fitting in there. So, well, I'll be back with maybe already the correct size holes. So it ended up being half inch for the hole. So I went ahead and took it half inch on one end and then it was still pretty tight. So I went one more notch only on one side, 9 sixteenths, and that worked out perfect. I don't know if I can really get this in the camera view, but if you can see that, like half of the plexiglass, you know, is the one size and the top half of the other, and that works out perfect because, you know, there's the uh, threads, and then there's kind of a, well, a 
half inch nut pretty much and so it, the threads go into it all the way and then it kind of stops right here at the flat part so I mean it fits in so perfect like that but it does stick out just a little bit now I'm kinda considering putting it on hold and getting some proper nuts to put on that but it won't sit perfectly flush like it like you know the flat panel does or I might just dremel it down a little bit and you know the part that's sticking out make it not stick out but anyway I mean they fit in perfect as is I could put some epoxy in it and be done with it really and, you know it reaches the two ends reach together just like I wanted you know I could get the corners reaching together or any of them reach together I can have the two closest ones together so I mean it does it's gonna do everything I want it to do I have yet to put the alligator clips on it or to even see if they fit properly honestly but they look like if anything I might have to make these holes a little bit bigger yeah and I mean a little bit bigger so I mean, this is going to be a very easy project it's been quite a few days later now and I figured I'd about time to finish this project up so I decided to go with some beefier alligator clips I mean, it's not huge difference but I figured since this is going to be a bigger version you know might as well use bigger ones and the plan is I'll just have them pressed in here right now and I would like to use epoxy but I'm afraid that it's going to run down you know and get all over the metal here so right now I'm just going to use pop these up and use some hot glue and I'm definitely going to use epoxy for the you know actually putting these in the hole I finally got my workbench finished like I wanted built a shelf so I can put things higher up and uh, got two fluorescent lights now so the lighting should definitely be better than it was and it's definitely more comfortable for me I already got the hot glue gun heated up so it don't matter if the hot glue kinda runs down with this cause it's gonna be easy to just take a razor and cut off the excess so I think this is gonna work out fine Uh, I gotta watch not to put too much. That might have been too much. Yeah, that's better right there. I think I put too much in that first one. That's the good thing about hot glue. It's pretty easy to clean up. Not so much when it's down in a spot like that, but maybe the gravity will pull it down. So I've got my everything set up a lot better than it was, but I still gotta do something about getting an actual microphone. Cause this little head headphones, well earphones with the microphone on it, I don't like this too much. Cord dangles in the way. It's pretty irritating. Hey, my hand shaking. A little bit more. All right. Let's give that a few minutes to cool down. Hey, I can. I can tell it's too much in here. Actually, I think it's not enough in here. These are real easy to pop off the end of it, you know, just to get it sideways and kind of literally pops. Well, while that's curing up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and epoxy these down. Now they do stick out just a little bit from the bottom, so while the epoxy is 
setting up. I want to lift the board up. Oh yeah, and also just in case some epoxy drips down, let's take some scrap paper and that way it'll fall on that. Yeah, that should do it. So I'm guessing I'll put the epoxy on the actual threads. What is that cat doing? And then stick them in here. If I just try to put it on there, it'll definitely be falling through. Alright. Just use this scrap paper with the hot glue on it. You can do so much good stuff with the epoxy. I just bought a new tube, thinking I'd use a whole lot for the alligator clips, but if nothing else. Maybe once the glue settles up, I'll put some around this part of it. Cause I was kind of worried about if I do heat these up a whole lot, soldering something, or I didn't want it to melt the hot glue or the plastic but uh having epoxy on the outside i think that'll be able to handle the heat pretty good so after this sets up fully cured and all the part that hangs off the bottom, I plan to just take a razor blade and scrape it off. I think that'll be alright. Probably ain't enough epoxy mixed up for all six of them. Two of my cats are running around chasing each other. The one cat that my original cat gets along with. She hates the other cat. She never, she only runs from her. She don't run back and forth playfully. She just runs terrified for some reason. I don't know what the hell's wrong with that cat. So I bought a squirt bottle. Getting the cat, spraying the cat that's chasing her all the time, terrorizing her. So far it's seemed to help, but she still does it. Now she just hides under the bed after she does it, because she knows I'm going to get her. Damn cat. Yeah, this is going to be enough. So it's 20 minutes setup time. Well, I guess the... Just get hard in 24 hours for full cure. I generally give it the 24 hours.
There we go. Let's give it a little twist. While I'm at it, since I got some left over, go ahead and put some on the where the metal reaches the uh, plastic. Might be enough just to put a little bit on it before it hardens up. I guess, well, I guess the back side would be more important. Even though there's a hole right there. I got some of them one way and some another. At least put a little bead on it for now. Might not be the cleanest looking helping hands ever, but I don't care about looks as long as they do the job. I mean, these other ones have done great for me. Well, still got a little more epoxy. Might as well make the best of it. This is where the big opening guy is, so that would take quite a lot more of it. I'm just going to try to get the where they meet up. Ain't got much time. I can tell it's already starting to get less free-flowing, more gooey. I think it has like a five minute work time. Yeah, it's getting stringy now. Man. Hurry up, hurry up. It's like crap. I waited too long. One more. Might as well finish now. Anyway, that's good enough. Well, now it's just a matter of letting everything cure up. And popping these back on there. Shaving off the... Uh, the little bit sticking off the bottom. It'll be good to go. I guess I'm going to stop this video here and then show the final product later on. Well that about sums this video up. I'll just pop the caps back on it. And yeah, it's good to go. Nice and flexible. And a lot bigger than my previous version. For whenever I need Need it for big jobs. So thank you for watching.